Hi guys, welcome back to another diamond painting unboxing video. Now this is from a company called Diamond Art Decor and they are a company I have worked with twice before. I've done two collaborations with them already. I am sure I have. I've at least done one with them anyway. And they're again another great low price company that do an amazing range of products. I think I've done quite a few. Um, they do the full crystal diamond painting kits which I really, really liked. Um, and we'll link those sort of at the end of this video or down below in the description box for you. And I have another package from them. So thank you to everybody at Diamond Art Deco for sending me another package. I'm excited to see what we've got. Now this one did arrive just before Christmas. And as you know, if you've watched any of my previous videos, I did have some packages that were all meant to be open before Christmas because they do contain, I think some of them do contain some Christmas items, but due to personal things, I just had to take a break over Christmas with filming and editing and I just put everything in a pile and I've just, in the new year, I've just started opening everything up. So this is probably one that may contain Christmas items. I did have to open the top just because I needed to check which company it was from. Um, I think I'm only down to maybe four, five packages now waiting to be open. So hopefully we'll get through them. So by the time the next load comes through, I'll be able to get them done within that week. So anyway, yeah, this company has sent me one, two, one, I it out. three items in this package. So we've got something here. It looks like we've got two diamond painting. That feels really heavy. Okay, I don't know what this is, but it feels really heavy. That's interesting. I'm going to do that one last, I think, because maybe it's just the diamonds are heavy. I'm not sure. But that's interesting. So we're going to do this little box first. Now this is, yeah, so this is the one I thought was a Christmas one. So it's one of these beautiful sort of Christmas decorations. It says diamond painting lamp. I didn't know it was a lamp. Did I know that? I don't know if I knew that. But it says diamond painting lamp and it's this Christmas tree. I'm not sure on the size or how it looks. I just saw it on the website when they offered to do another collaboration and thought it looked pretty. So it's in a box. So the box is a little bit sort of battered, but it's not too squashed so it should be okay it says creative led down pen so it must be a light somehow oh okay oh this looks interesting okay so everything we've got in here so we've got our Diamond painting toolkit where we've got pen and tray and wax and a few little baggies in there. We have our crystals. We've got a few sort of different shapes and colours in there. So we'll have a look at those closer in a moment. We've got... Oh, good God. <laughs> I haven't even got to do too much DIY. Oh, this, look, this looks a little bit complicated. Anyway, we've got a little screwdriver. And then... I don't even know what these are. We've got something in a bag with some sort of plastic tubes and little acrylic clear screws. Hmm. Yeah, I've got no idea what I'm doing with this one. We're going to figure it out together, I think. I hope. I hope. Um. So then we have the... Oh, okay, hold on. So we've got two pieces of this, which I'm very confused. Hold on. <laughs> we've got two pieces of the Christmas tree. So it's on acrylic and we've got one piece which has got the numbers and everything on, which you can just see through the back, but it's not, you don't do the back. It's just this and it's got the clear film over the front. And then this one, which is just, I think this is just printed. I'm guessing this goes on the back somehow. It goes like this. And we do have lots of little... Um, let's see if I can show you. Can you see we've got some little holes 
that are randomly through. Got some little holes here and here that do match up to the one behind it, just about. Yeah, they do, they match up. So I'm guessing that we put the screws through there, something to do with the lights. But anyway, so this obviously is the Christmas tree. It's got a star at the top, it's got all these baubles on and it's got all these presents. I will put the screenshot up of this one so you can have a look, see what it actually looks like when it's all put together. And you can see the price and the description. So, yeah, I'm not quite sure if it is stand up, if it's hung. I'm, I'm really not sure at the moment, but yeah. But up close, it's nice and clear. Very well printed. It's very pretty and very colourful. So obviously some little areas here that we don't drill, some little details. But I'm interested to see how this comes together. And then we have this. Which I don't know what this is. So we have, so I'm presuming that this is, this, these are the little LED, this is the LED wire. So this has all the really tiny little LED bulbs running through it. This is obviously sort of power unit, it's got an on and off switch on there, which I'm presuming I need to put batteries in it. Yeah, so it needs to take three, is that triple A's? Yeah, so it takes three triple A batteries. This slots back in somehow. Yeah, I'll figure that out at some point. And then it's got a suction on it. So I don't I don't really know how it goes. Does it stand up? Does it get suction to the wall? I I really don't know. I'm guessing hold on, right. I'm trying to figure it out what I think might be done so these i think is what the screws go into so my guessing is that these go between like that and you put the screws through either side to hold it all together through these little holes and then somehow we put the wire in the middle so we'll have a gap like this and the wire led lights go in the middle and then you can hang it up with this little bit at the top maybe or maybe one of them goes in there I'll have to count the little tubes I've got. So yeah, I'm not really sure how it goes together, but I think it's going to be really cute. And luckily, I don't have to do it till, you know, another 11 months down the line. We're all right. <laughs> so that's that's interesting of how this is going to all sort of figure out and what I need to do with it. But it's definitely pretty. It's very well printed. I just wish there was some actual instructions for it to sort of show you how to put it together because knowing me, I would absolutely mess it up. But I like this little power unit with the suction cup and the little button on there. And it looks like it's crystal yet to So let's have a little look at these and see what we get. We get a few in the join bags and some separate ones. In the drain bag are our rhinestones. So we have some emerald green ones, dark green. We've got some sort of gold, clear silver. Got a light blue, red, yellow gold, sort of like a rose gold colour and a dark pink. And then in the separate ones we have the large red crystals, we have the slightly smaller red crystals, oh by the way if you can hear snoring behind me it's Treacle, she's fast asleep behind me, deciding to snore a little head off. We've got the large blue crystals, uh, smooth gold half pearls, we've got the white little half pills. We've got a couple of little gold stars. Oh, smaller stars in the same colour. And then we have the gold crystals in the larger size as well. So some really, really pretty sort of diamonds and crystals to go on there, which I think will look really nice when it's done. It'll just interesting gonna put it all together. So Follow me on Instagram to keep updated. 
But yeah, I like I said, because it's a Christmas one, I won't be doing this until sort of um, later this year, more like November time. And by then, I will have figured out how to do it. But luckily, it's in a little box and it's well protected, so it's not going to get lost or damaged. So, number two, which is this little one. This looks like a little diamond painting kit, possibly a special shape because it's quite slim. And maybe I'm like a 30 by 30 or something. What have we got here? Oh, oh, this is pretty. Quite a soft little canvas, this one. So this is our... Sorry for the lighting. Can you see that all right? So this is a 30 by 30 special shape. So it's a partial. We don't sort of drill the background area. We just sort of drill the patterns on this sort of moon and mandala sort of effect. Very, very nice. I'll put the screenshot of this one up for you as well so you can see the price. You can, I think it'll show it you completed on there and the description of it. So at the top, it's just got the thumbnail and the description and our canvas number and then we do have a legend on both sides as well which is really good we've got a total of 15 different crystals on this one and we just have the number and a little code it's got like a little it's not very big it's a little bit difficult to read but i can figure out that that's one two three is number five which is a bit confusing four is six maybe five is seven six is eight so just be aware that the code symbols don't match the number symbols if that makes sense so i think when i chart this when i kit this one up i will kit it up with these i'll just write these symbols on the bottles so i don't get confused with the actual numbers so up close nice and clear up close we've got you can see the sixes and the sevens we've got the larger diamonds on there as well and that sort of mandala style pattern there looks really really good got a nice mix of numbers and letters so yeah it's a nice little kit that you do get the basic toolkit pen tray and wax and then our crystal, let's see what we've got in here. So we start with the rhinestones, we've got the sort of champagne gold, we've got the purple, we've got a sort of, sort of like a greeny tinged gold, that one. Got a dark blue, turquoise, clear silver. We then move on to a slightly bigger one. So these are the clear silver, but in the larger size. We've got the large gold ones. We've got the gold marquees. We've got the little tiny blue tear dots, which is so fiddly but looks so good when they're done. We've got the large gold marquees ones. Beautiful pink. And red AB crystals and some blue Marquise ones. These are smooth crystals, they're really nice. And then we have two packs of these on their own. So we've got the blue teardrops in a slightly larger size, and we've got the gold ones in the same size as those blue ones. So yeah, nice little uh nice little kit that one. It's going to be a little bit fiddly with all the tiny bits on, but I think that's going to look really pretty when it's done. It's a nice kit. It's clear on the canvas. Like I said, the charting is a little bit difficult to read these numbers on here, but I'm sure we can figure it out. Um, yeah, I really like that one. I'm moving on to the last one, which is the heavy one, and I don't know why it's heavy. Maybe it's just... I'm very intrigued as to what this is. So, let's find out because I'm sure it's a diamond painting kit. I just don't know why it's... Maybe it's just me because I've had been handling the lighter ones. I can't get it out. Oh, it's a diamond painting kit. It just feels heavier than usual. Oh, because it's a decent size. That'll be why, Natalie. Oh, it's a very good size. So, this is... Ooh. So, this is 
it's a beautiful kit this one let me just straighten it out a little bit it's a little bit crinkled this one but it, that should flatten out quite easily it's a poured glue canvas so we should be okay for shouldn't have any damage to the actual adhesive so this is that one i will put the screenshot up so you can see it without the my really rubbish lighting sort of making it worse so it's this beautiful christmas little village scene with this beautiful big christmas tree here gorgeous colors on this with the reds and the yellows all the snowy scene with the trees in the background and these little lit up houses i think that's adorable really really beautiful picture now this size is a 70 by 45 which is a size I don't see very often, but I really like the size. It's a really good size picture. We've picked up the detail really well that I can see on here. And even from here, I can see how well printed this one is. So I'm excited to see how this one turns out. Again, because it's a Christmas one, I won't be doing this one until later this year, towards the end of this year for my Christmas. I just can't bring myself to do Christmas pictures when it's not Christmas but I'll probably be starting some of these around October time so make sure that you follow me on Instagram to keep up to date with all the ones that I will be doing and starting and finishing so we'll just go for the top here so we've got a little thumbnail very tiny thumbnail we've got the canvas code and there's a 70 by 45 size we do have a legend on both sides and it's a very nice big clear legend with a total of 24 colours and it looks like we are all letters on there and we do have dmc codes as well so very nice clear easy to read legend that's going to be really easy to follow and we've got some heavy confetti areas as you can see that's going to be fun no i, like, I quite like confetti areas as long as it's mixed up with a bit of um, color blocking but yeah it's very nicely printed i like how clear it is move on to another section and as you can see we've got some more areas of more smaller color color smaller color blocking areas and on the house the symbols themselves are very nice and clear well printed easy to read even the lighter colors i mean even in the sky we've not really got much i think that area there is probably the biggest area of color blocking we've got <laughs> so this is going to be take a while to do, but I think it'll be really fun to see it all come out and how it comes together. Really pretty. And again, you can see the symbols are very clear, nicely printed. I can't see any symbols that are next to each other that are going to get confusing, which is really good. That makes it a lot easier to do. And then down here, and then with the Christmas tree, again, you can see... Nice and clear. Fantastic. I really like that kit. We get tool kits. So we get two pens in this one. We get two trays and two big and then sort of one large, two medium pieces of wax. So extra bits there to get through this, even though probably won't even use half of that bit, to be honest. But yeah, nice that they give you the extra tools. Oh, and we get Ziploc bags. I love Ziploc bags. This is why it was heavy, because there's a lot of drills in here. Really, really like this. And some gorgeous, gorgeous purples. This is going to be amazing, I think, this one. This might have to be one of the first Christmas ones I do, because this is just beautiful. So, as you can see, they're all beautifully packaged on here. I am going to get some out to show you. So, this is number 22. So, which is really good about this, is that they give us the symbol number and they give us the DMC codes and the amount that's in them. And this should be the canvas code ZWA4104, which is A4104, it is the right one. So we've now got the right drills. So this is a full round, this one, on a um, poured glue canvas. And these drills are beautiful. Really sparkly really cleanly cut drills we've got a three have we got three ten in this we've got three ten i need to check the three tens but these look really good and a nice big bag of those i much prefer the ziplock bags so you've not got loads and loads of plastic bits you've got to throw away 
We've got some more purple and some yellow. I'm going to mess this all up now, aren't I? So here's our 310. I need to check this because I don't like 310. <laughs> they look all right, actually. Yeah. Can't really see any trash in there, which is the issue we usually get with 310, but they look pretty good. Nice sparkly drills. Yeah, they look really nice. Beautiful colours in this. Look at these. 815. Loads of purples. I'm really, really interested to see all these. Look at the size of this. Is this 209? 153, this one? Nice big bag of 153. Look at these. So, yeah, these are sort of our main colours in this picture, which I think is going to be amazing. 3835. Lovely purples. We've got some bright purple there as well. We've got 3837. So there are main colours. And we do get some 9 to 8, so we've got some dark brown. I'm presuming that's going to be going on the Christmas tree um, and probably in the shadow bits. Beautiful. And then a couple of different sort of red shades. So really interested to see. We haven't actually got to, considering this is a snow scene, we haven't really got many pale colours. We've got this one, which is... We've got a 762, which is a grey, and then we've got 3865, which is our off-white. We've just got those, so there's not much there. It'll just be for more like the highlights in the snow. So this is going to be more like a purple-toned winter picture, which is, I think is the reason I chose it, because I think it's going to look beautiful when it's done. And then we've just got some beautiful sort of reds and oranges in there as well. So, yeah, I absolutely love love this kit i think this is going to be beautiful when it's finished i think the colors are going to be amazing i might actually add some crystals or ab's into the christmas tree lights just to make it pop because i think if this is done and stretched out and framed it will be amazing to put up as a picture definitely love this one so again thank you so much to everybody at diamond art decor for sending me another amazing package of products i Think they're all fantastic great kits great prices clear symbols cannot complain highly recommend this company again i will link everything down below for you and thank you to you guys for watching let me know what you guys think down below and i will see you in the next one bye guys